Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials by Dev Dojo. And in this video, we are going to start talking about errors. So how can we work with exception handling with Spring Boot? So in this first part, we are going to have uh, at least two or three. We are going to change a little bit uh, the service that we have inside Otils, the method. And uh, we are going to create a custom exception. So I think uh, exceptional handling, when we are talking about APIs, it's like everything else. It's about consistency. So whatever you are going to return, you have to return everything for the same type of exceptions that you are going to, to be handling. So in this case, we have this response status exception where we are sending this HTTP status not found. But what if we would like to create our own uh, resource not found exception? How can we do that and return in a way that uh, is a Spring Boot way? So for that, let's uh, create a new package here inside Academy Dev Dojo Spring Boot 2. And this package will be called exception. And inside exception, let's create a new class and let's call this class uh, resource not found exception. So the resource not found exception will be a runtime exception. And it is extends. And let's overwrite the constructor where we have a message. So the purpose of this resource not found exception is to uh, be executed every time we are trying to do something and the resource is not there as uh, the name implies. But we do have one thing. We would like to always return the status 404 for these resources. So how can we actually do that? It's pretty simple. You just have to add here at response status and you tell the status that you are going to return with this exception. So by doing this, we can go to hotels and right here we can change this to new resource not found exception and now automatically you do have your resource not found that will return 404 for you so let's check how this looks like and uh, let's start our application i'm not going to change anything and i'm going to postman we do have here get animates um let's see which ones we have here Okay, we have number two and let's say that we are trying to find number three and as you can see we do have here the same enemy not found so the same message that we have here is the message that we have here and again we can change this trace inside the application.yaml so this um, is the first step how can we create custom exceptions and have this custom exception return a specific http status so I think for the, the first part of this video, this is enough. Let's uh, stop for now and continue in the next one. So see you there. Bye.